Hi friends, happy Thanksgiving week. Today is a special treat for you. I thought I would share a gratitude yoga practice. So this practice will help us to fill up on gratitude, but it's also going to be infused with some twists that'll help us with our digesting of our Thanksgiving meal. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and have a seat on your yoga mat if you're using one or on the ground. Just find a comfortable seat and we'll sit up nice and tall. Feel that length in your spine. And we'll start by bringing one hand to the heart and one hand right below it on your, on your belly. And we'll just close down the eyes here for a moment. And start to notice your breath. And on your next breath in, Breathe in a way where you feel like you're expanding your belly, the ribs, and the breath all the way up into the lungs. And exhale softly, let the breath empty out, let it all go. Again, inhale, originating at the belly, filling up the belly, the ribs, expanding across your lungs. slowly releasing it all the way out, using this moment, these breaths to really anchor in the present moment. One more time, we'll just take that nice big sip of breath in. And exhale, let it all go and release your hands onto your knees, turned up or down. And you either have your eyes gently closed or a soft focal point on the ground out in front of you and we'll begin our gratitude practice simply by being grateful. So when you're ready, think of three things you're grateful for today. And if you can't think of three grateful things that are going on in your life right now, think about three grateful things that are coming but there's always something to be grateful for. The air that we breathe, the earth that holds us up, the food that sustains us, the people, the experiences, counting our blessings. When you're ready, gently flutter your eyes open and we're just gonna to begin to make some movements feeling grateful for our body. So as you inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky and simply feel gratitude for your ability to move into healing stretches. As you exhale, bend your elbows wide like goalposts and roll the shoulders back and find a little bit of a back bend here, a heart opener, feeling grateful for this open heart space. And on your exhalation now, Bring your hands out in front of you, interlace your fingers and push your hands forward as you tuck the chin into the chest and feel the stretch along the backs of your shoulders. So nice and easy, on your in-breath, lift into those goal posts again, little back bend as you stretch across your chest. And as you exhale, once again, interlace your fingers, press the palms forward stretch across this, the shoulders. One more time, inhale, goalpost arms, moving at your own pace with ease, and exhale, interlace your fingers, press the palms forward, and tuck the chin into your chest. Nice job. Now as you sit up nice and tall, friends, we're just gonna make our way into a tabletop position, onto your hands and your knees. And from your hands and your knees, stack your joints. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. So we're gonna drop the belly down and press your hands energetically down and in towards your knees as you lift your chest here, finding that back bend here. And nice and easy on your exhalation, tuck your tail under as you press the earth away and chin to the chest again. Feel that stretch across the backs of your shoulders again. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your heart, energetically pulling the hands towards your knees. And exhale, press the earth away, chin to chest, tail extends down towards the ground. And nice and easy, come to your neutral spine here. 
and make your way all the way up to stand. So as you come to stand, in mountain pose we call it, feet hip bone distance apart and bring your hands into your prayer, your hands into your heart. With a soft focal point on the ground, each time your hands come into your heart, maybe letting this be a, a gentle reminder for gratitude for your um, unique and imperfect and wonderfully made body. As you inhale, breathe in gratitude, savoring the breath in your lungs. As you exhale, softly release your breath and release your arms long down by your side. Moving at your own pace, the inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky, grab your left wrist. As you exhale, feel in a gentle tilt over to the right, gazing down to the right or up to the left. Inhale, lift back to center and switch wrists. And exhale, lean to the left, gazing down to the left or looking up to the right. As you inhale, reach up, feel that stretch in your beautiful body as you reach your fingers up and press your feet into the ground. And as you exhale, we're gonna soften and hinge forward into a fold. Now you can bring your fingertips to the ground or your shins. You might have to bend your knees a little or a lot to take pressure off your hamstrings. Feel the weight of your feet pressed into the ground. Feel gratitude for the stability in your feet. Your feet do so much for you. Stay here with your fingers on the ground or hold on to the opposite forearms or elbows and rest here in this forward fold. And give gratitude for this beautiful, fresh, big breath of air that's moving into your brain, oxygen-infused breath, giving you that fresh supply of oxygen to your brain, fresh energy in this inversion. Now, just for today, imagine if you have any worries or stressors that you can let them roll off your back and down onto the floor, releasing anything that's not serving you well. Nice job with your fingers on the ground or your shins. Inhale, lift your heart and extend your spine out in front of you. Look out in front of you and exhale, fold. Maybe grab the backs of your legs and give them a little hug, a little squeeze. As you press your feet into the ground, rise up, take a nice big reach up. Feel that healing stretch up through the sides of your waist, your armpits, your finger pads, and bring your hands back into your beautiful heart. Breathe in gratefulness for this breath savoring the breath in your lungs. And exhale, softly release it all the way out. Nice job. Take your time to come onto your hands and your knees again. This time as you come onto your hands and your knees, bring your knees wide, maybe as wide as your mat. Big toes touch. And as you reach your hips back, rest your forehead on the ground. And this is called child's pose. As you rest in child's pose, take a nice big breath in and out into this gentle hip opener, making any modifications that are right for you. In this pose, in your child's pose, giving gratitude here for your ability to connect to the earth and feel stable and feel grounded connecting to Mother Nature in her calming and nurturing way. When you're ready, gently come back to your hands and your knees, and now we're gonna come onto our hips and flip the legs around in front of us with your legs nice and long, sitting up nice and tall. You can bend your knees a little bit or a lot if you need to. When you're ready, Take a big stretch up, feel that healing stretch as you press your sit bones evenly into the ground. As you exhale, reach forward for your shins, your ankles, your feet, or your toes, and fold down and feel gratitude for a sense of surrender, a sense of just letting everything be as it is. You can soften the knees a little bit or a lot if you need to. And take another couple breaths here in and out. Allowing your head to be heavy. 
Nice and easy. As you're ready, go ahead and round up to sit nice and tall and pull your knees up and in towards your chest and open your knees wide into butterfly pose with the soles of your feet pressing together. You can hold onto your ankles as you sit up nice and tall and the feet might be in really close towards you or they may be really far away and you might flap the wings on your butterfly as you sit nice and tall and close your eyes. The breath coming and going at its own free will. The butterfly as it flaps its wings, that air movement from the butterfly can create change over 10,000 miles away. Little movements, little gestures can create a difference far away. Isn't that amazing? When you're ready, use your knees to, or hands to lift up your knees and extend your left leg long. Pull your right knee or right foot in nice and close towards you and hug in that knee as we practice our first detoxifying twist for our practice today. So hugging that knee into your chest, lift your chest nice and tall to keep your spine tall. And with your left fingers wrapped around your right knee, take your right fingers behind you and open your twist to the right. Maybe looking over your right shoulder and take a deep breath. Keeping that smooth, easy breath so we're not holding tension in our body. As you come back to face the front of your mat, extend your right leg long, pull your left heel up and in, hug that knee in close and sit nice and tall, lifting your heart, relaxing the shoulders. Wrap your right arm around your left knee with your left fingers behind you, lift and open your twist to the left, maybe looking over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath. As you release and come back to center, we're gonna go ahead and come around onto our hands and our knees again for a pose that really helps to get into a sense of being courageous. So you might add some extra padding under your knees here or a cushion. You might step your knees up on top of that cushioning and stand up with your knees about hip bone distance apart. You might be able to get a fist or two between your knees. Toe, tuck your back toes under and create fists with your hands on either side of your low back. Hug in to your core, keeping yourself stable. And as you roll the shoulders back, lift your heart into this heart opener pose. A pose where we open to vulnerability in our heart opening and courageous, being courageous breathing. You can stay here in this version of camel, keeping your gaze forward. You might let your head fall back, breathing with ease. With that core active, gently rising back up, untuck your toes and sit your hips back on your heels if that feels right for you. And bring your hands onto your thighs and simply take a deep breath in and out, observing what it fe felt like to be courageous and open into that heart space. Maybe taking a moment to think of a time in your life when you were courageous, when you let yourself be vulnerable. And giving yourself a little gratitude for being willing to do that. Untucking your mat or removing your cushions. Let's come to roll over onto our back, beautiful friends. So we're setting ourselves up for our next detoxifying pose. Step your feet on the ground. When you're ready, squeeze your left knee into the chest and grab your left foot with your left hand, either the foot or hold on behind your left thigh for modification. Draw the knee down, relax the shoulders. When you're ready, squeeze that knee back and into the chest and step your left foot on the ground. Draw your right knee into the chest, give it a little hug. And as you turn your right foot up towards the sky, grab your foot 
or behind the thigh and draw that right knee down as you relax the shoulders and take a deep breath. As you're ready, squeeze the knee back and into the chest and step your feet on the ground. Walking your heels in a little bit closer towards your glutes, feet about hip bone distance apart, with your arms long down by your side, press down through your feet and your hands as you squeeze your hips up into your bridge pose. You can keep your fingers and your toes pressed into the ground evenly, or with long arms underneath you, you might interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders under, and once again, stretch into across the front of the chest as well as open through the front of your hips. When you're ready, release interlaced fingers and slowly roll your hips back to the ground and bring your knees back into your heart. Take a deep breath in and out, maybe gently rocking from side to side, giving your low back a little bit of a massage. When you're ready, let your knees fall to the right. Your left arm extends for another detoxifying twist and close your eyes. Smooth out your breath. Your body is naturally a detoxifying machine. Doing these twists helps to massage the digestive core and speed up your metabolism, just aiding in the process. Bringing your knees back and into the chest, setting up for the second side, let your knees fall to the left. Right arm relaxes long, right shoulder down, and take a deep breath. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a nice big hug. Squeeze, maybe even pull your forehead up and in and squeeze into a tiny ball. And when you're ready, relax your head on the ground and start to stretch out long on the mat. You might reach forward through your heels and let your feet kind of drop out nice and wide. And close your eyes right away into this pose, Shavasana. Feeling grateful for your body and what you were able to do. Focusing on the positive. And as you close your eyes here, allowing your body to become more relaxed and more at ease with each passing breath. It doesn't matter if you're breathing through the nose or the mouth here. Just simply allow yourself to rest and be the witness the observer of what's going on in your body, noticing the subtle sensations, being present with each breath. The present is a gift. Let's take three more breaths here, enjoying the moment. When you're ready, begin to brush your thumbs across your fingers, noticing subtle sensations. We'll step our feet on the ground slowly and roll over onto your favorite side. And slowly take your time to curl yourself back up to a seated position and bring your hands into your heart Close your eyes, feel grateful for this breath, savoring the breath in your lungs. Count each breath as a blessing. And when you're ready, smile. Smile and feel it in your whole body. And know that that smile might be the only thing that brightens somebody's day today. Maybe take a moment to smile to everyone around you today, even if you don't feel like it. 
and notice the reaction. Bowing head to heart, thanking yourself for practicing. I'm so grateful that you were able to practice with us today. Namaste. Other ways that we can express our gratitude. If you're looking for ways to increase your amount of gratitude, then you might try grabbing a piece of paper and writing a thank you card to a family or friend. You might give somebody a hug or smile at them today. You might um, volunteer, do something good, or some random act of kindness for somebody else or give somebody a genuine compliment. When you give gratitude, you fill up. It's a win-win for you and for everybody else around you. And the more you fill up on gratitude within, the more you can overflow it to others. Have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. Come back and practice this anytime you want to when you want to fill up on gratitude. Thanks, friends.